Atypical pneumonia has no classical symptoms, that's why it is called atypical. It occurs 20% of pneumonia cases. It is also called walking pneumonia. Common symptoms of atypical pneumonia are persistent dry cough, fatigue, low-grade fever, shortness of breath, chest pain, and these symptoms occur gradually and onset is gradually. Let's compare classical pneumonia cases and atypical pneumonia. It is called also walking pneumonia because patients usually are productive and they can keep daily life. So they are not feel uh, so much ill that they are not in bed, they walking. That's why it is called no walking pneumonia. Uh, most common characteristic of symptoms is gradual onset. While uh, in other types of pneumonia, and uh, we uh, we take as an example, but other types of bacterial uh, pneumonia, it's abrupt symptoms. Severity in atypical pneumonia is much milder, while uh, other bacterial type pneumonia usually is moderate to severe uh, symptoms. Cough is persistent but dry, uh, while in case of uh, classical pneumonia, it's much more productive with sick mucus. Uh, extra pulmonary symptoms such as myalgia, headache, uh, sore throat is more common for atypical pneumonia, while less common for uh, other types of pneumonia. Uh, pleural pain or chest pain uh, during, which is prominent during uh, deep breathe or coughing it's more common for classical pneumonia, so less common for atypical pneumonia. In the blood, leukocyte count usually normal or slightly elevated in case of atypical pneumonia and le leukocyte usually elevated in classical pneumonia. On chest ray, uh, patchy or diffuse infiltrate is common in case of atypical pneumonia while uh, uh, while uh, these um, infiltrates are more uh, localized, uh, more localized or more lobular in case of uh, other types of pneumonia. That's the most core differences. Uh, let's now say risk factors. There is no spe very specific risk factors for atypical pneumonia, but it's more common in school age children or pers persons with a weak immune system or also people who live in crowded environment, um, dormitories and military barracks, for example. Uh, and what is treatment? Treatment, first line treatment is usually antibiotics, azithromycin, erythromycin, clarithromycin, and second line treatment is usually doxycycline, uh, levofloxacin, and moxifloxacin. Uh, that's typical treatments. Uh, that's all. Thank you for your interest. Uh, thank you for your watching. If you like my videos, please thumbs up. If you like my channel, please subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye for now.